Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. It is the morning after the last episode, literally the morning after. And uh, I have more bad news to report to you after Esmeralda being eaten in the last one. Yeah, you know, you saw me die. I ran back. I tried to get back to her in time to save her, grab my stuff. All that sort of good thing uh, didn't happen, so... Obviously, she died. Took Red Dawn back because I thought it'd be a good idea to have a little bit of a bodyguard. Um, you might notice I'm running around, for one, because, well, I don't have a flyer to get over here. And uh, about Red Dawn, uh, Blaze over here is our last remaining apex creature that we have. Red Dawn was actually eaten by that cat, so I thought today, in honor of Esmeralda and Red Dawn... Should probably make a couple of gravestones and we'll put them down and uh be something to remember them by i thought i'd put them down over by the beach here this uh well not the beach but the lake and just you know this is kind of our eventually going to be the main location so there's one let's go ahead and set the sign text so click in there because it didn't do it on its own there we go. So there's one for Esmeralda. And we're going to go ahead and line them up because I have a feeling we're going to need to have a bunch of these as the as the show goes on. Uh, I'm laughing. But at the same time, I'm not. You know what I mean? It's just you got to find something humorous about it and just roll with the punches because that's just the way it's going to go in this game. It's a brutal game. The mods I'm playing, the levels I'm playing at, it's... Uh, it's challenging. It, it really is. I'm going to drop some of this junk off here. Do I have... Let's see. I can leave my extra cementing paste. I didn't need to carry as many stones as I had. I'll keep one. I always like to have one on me, although I don't have any wood. Well, we're going to grab Mason. I think Mason is going to be the one I want to run around with today. Uh, you have a bunch of thatch on you. Before we go here, let me let me do this right quick. Let's just go ahead and run over here. We're going to load the fertilizer box up with some more feces and some thatch. There we go. I don't really have enough to make any worthwhile time out of it. Oh, look at this. I could... Uh, where's my water jar? Does that magically refill it if I do that? I don't... I don't know. Uh-huh. Use water. So do I... I, I, I don't understand how I... Hmm. Whatever. I don't know. Can I... Can I do that? Hmm. I don't get how these things are supposed to work. I I really don't understand. Because that's that doesn't seem to be filling it full of water. Well, here. Let's just ignore that and... That'll be fine. I don't care that I don't have any water in my jar. It'll be fine. Let's grab Mason. We're actually going to head back to where I came from, which would basically be the beachfront. The actual beachfront, not this lakeside beachfront. So we're kind of starting over, in a sense. Starting over in that, well, we need to get a new flyer. And I never did get around to getting an Argentivus, so even if we don't get an Argentivus today and we only get a Pteranodon, or we only get a Pteranodon, and we don't get an Argentivus, or did I say that twice that way? Whatever. Even if we only get one and not the other, then I think we'll still be fine. And let's just see, we should be popping out here into the bright, sunlit world. And I don't think there are going to be any Argies over here, any Argents, if you prefer. There were a lot of animals stuck over here, as I was kind of making my way down the beach heading over here. Hello, you are a little too small to ride. I will not concern myself with you. Oh, before we go crazy here, let's just be smart about this. You are a standard raptor, and you are, looks like a standard carno. Okay, what do we have going on over there? I saw another raptor. Okay, you're a pretty low level raptor. I think that raptor might be headed our way here. Maybe not. I wouldn't mind annoying a single raptor just to get its attention. Come on. Little raptor. There you are. Good. Now, raptors do move pretty quickly here. 
However, Mason also moves fairly quickly. And I don't know, can I um Can I take a look back here? Oh, Raptor got preoccupied. Okay, that's fine. If Raptor wants to be preoccupied, I can work with that. Here we go. And Raptor go to sleep. Just like that. <laughs> Alright, now, because I need a little meat and I don't feel like dealing with the possibility of this guy running away. Let's go ahead and say Fiomia go to sleep. Yeah, that worked out pretty well, I gotta say. All right, Fiomia, let's just go ahead and kill you. I need a bunch of meat. I don't really need a bunch of meat, but I do need some meat and I don't have any prime on me and I don't feel like running back to get some prime. All right, let's go ahead and hack you up with my nice pick. Look at that, I got a bunch of meat for that. Oh. Thank you, Mason. I'll take that. We're going to need to put that in the box sooner or later. Where did that raptor go? It's right there. Level 52. Okay. We can work with that. Here you go. Have some... Uh, no, not hides. I want the hides. You can you can have the meat. I'll take the hides. And you're probably not going to be ready anytime soon. And uh, if you die or you wake up, that's cool. I don't really care. I'm not really concerned about that because I'm not really in it for a raptor. Here you go, Mason. You can take down a Carno. Show that big, mean Carno who the real predator is out here. That's right. You're the moose. Uh, actually, you're not going to do anything if you do that. I should stop. There you go. Good. Now, there was another raptor over here, I know. And here, just because this is all going to spoil... Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's right. Raw Prime. Let's go throw that on the raptor, then. Duh. I forgot. Carnos do count as big creatures and can drop prime, so good. All right, Raptor, here. You go ahead and just take that, and again, if you come along, cool. If not, whatever. I don't really care right now. I'm not at all worried about finding a land-based creature right now. That is not why I'm out and about running around. I'm looking for a flyer, and I'm just surprised I'm not really seeing any over here. They do. There we go. There's one right there. Let's see. Will you be sufficient for our purposes? Uh, 16. Ouch. 16 kind of hurts when you're going from 130 something to 16. What are you? 72 I would feel better about. Can we... Oh, wait a minute. What about you? You are even closer yet. Level 60. I'm going to be good with level 60 because... Um, because I think that just is fine. There you go. Have a seat. Thank you very much. You have a bunch of raw meat on you. I'll go ahead and dump this in. I don't know. Maybe I should put it on. Maybe I should grab the. the oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What are you? Are you? Where did you go? Oh, you're just a regular raptor. You had some funky thing going on around you. So I wasn't sure that was a regular normal raptor, but it is. Okay. This would be a good time to bring Norman over and just grab some raw prime meat now, wouldn't it? Are there any are there any sharks in the neighborhood I can just kind of convince to come over here? Because I wouldn't mind just grabbing some raw prime meat that way. That would make my life a little easier. Mason, just to make sure you're on neutral. You will attack if attacked. Don't want any accidents to happen. We've already had that happen once this series. Never mind other ones. You look like you might be a shark. So I'm going to go ahead and... Just to make sure you're going to come at me. I'm just going to shoot you right quick there. Alright. Feeling pretty good about that. And there's the single player pause. While the game saves. Let's go ahead and... Are you... Are you already asleep? Is that what happened? Uh, you sure are. Oh, hi. Oh, you would be another Megalodon. Alright, well, I don't really care which one I kill. I'm just looking to kill one. I want some raw prime meat. I don't seem to be hitting this guy very well here. There we go. Come on. I'm going to pull out my shotgun, but it's not really going to do me much good underwater now, is it? All right, there we go. Let's hack some meat off of this guy. Look at that. There's a bunch of raw prime meat. Feeling pretty good about that. Eight will be sufficient for the time being. All right. Need some uh, stamina and... Oh. Why are you... Oh, because... Hey. Hey. Um, that one. Stop that. Ah, man. I knew that was going to happen. Jerk. All right. Well, whatever. We have spare pteranodons around. It's not like that's the only one we have. I'm just ignoring those guys. I don't really care. 
Tranodon, why don't you come and land over here? Come on. I will be very quick and painless about how I do this. Or I'll try anyway. All right, here. Hold all this stuff before it spoils. You were a lower level one, were you not? Level 40. Oh, I didn't see you, so... Uh, if that one's going to hang out over there, then that might just have to do. We need a flyer today. I will not be satisfied until we have another one. I really want the higher level one. Man, that one's kind of going the wrong direction. But you're flying over water, which doesn't bode well. Because the last time I knocked some someone out over water, they, uh, they drowned. Yeah, it didn't work out well for any of us. Here, let's go ahead and give Mason a level since he's being patient. There you go. Have some more damage. Why not? Man, I, I really wish I wouldn't have pulled that shotgun out, but I was just trying to do some really quick damage. And I did. I did do some quick damage. I one-shot that raptor, but, uh... Yeah, I did a little too much spray there. All right, how are we doing? Tranodon, you, you really need to come down. It's really kind of bothersome that you're not. Splash, no splash. And I don't just want to take a shot at you in the air in the, in the hopes that I you know, hit you, and then you fall into the water. Well, that's fine. We can we can come back. Let's just keep going down the beach here a little bit. Might find another one. You never know. We are getting closer to where all the big carnivores hang out, so we're going to have uh, fewer options over here. That would be an apex raptor, I believe. I see... I can't see anything because all I see are antlers. Let's try that again. Apex Carno, Apex Stego. I don't know where the raptor went. Aha, over that way. That looks like an Apex Raptor. That does not look like an Alpha Raptor, so that's not really going to do us any good either way. All right, let's just uh, let's swing back and see where did that Pteranodon go? It looks like it landed somewhere. Maybe, unless that's it, way in the distance over there. You got some good distance on you, buddy. Yeah, you did, because that is you. It's okay. Maybe I just went a little farther than I thought. Oh, might be coming down. Look at that. Heading toward the ground. All right. This is going to be pretty close timing here. I'm only going to have a couple of seconds once it pops down. All right. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Load the arrow. Shoot it in the face. Don't crash into the... There we go. <laughs> it was trying. It was trying. It's like, no, man. I would rather drown myself than be tamed by you. Phew, that was close. All right, let's load you up with the good stuff, my friend. Have some... Ah, oh, dang it, you're not even hungry at all. You wait recently here. Just play it safe. I'm going to load you up with some regular meat, too. You're not going to get to the point where you even want it, because that raw prime stuff is going to be good enough for you. And that's good. I'm totally good with that. So, apparently, I need to kill some time here, so, uh, you know what that means. I had to run back to base to grab a bunch of narcotics. You can see I've used, uh, well, only three of them. But, <laughs> those are pretty good narcotics, so that's why. This guy is about ready to be tamed. Come on, another second or two. There we go. Got ourselves a Tranodon, and if I stand up and look to the right, we have ourselves a Raptor as well. That's right! <laughs> As I was running back to the workshop on Mason, uh, yeah, it so happened that uh, I ran by that guy. He was just standing around, all tamed and ready to go. So we got ourselves a raptor and a pteranodon. So let's go ahead and run back to base right quick here. And there were a bunch of compies around, and I did end up having to kill one of them. I was a little concerned they might start chewing on me or on the pteranodon or on you know, something, someone else. So, uh, playing it safe, I just decided to go ahead and shoot the compi. Oh, look at that. There's, uh... Ooh, we should probably take advantage of this while we can here. Let's go ahead and bust out the, um... Yeah, let's, let's use the shotgun. That's fine. The shotgun is rather effective at trilobite hunting. Okay, can I get you even though you're in the water? Sure can, look at that. Um, I guess I don't really want meat from you. I want other stuff, so let's go ahead and use the hatchet for that. And then we should have one more right here. There we go. That's just, you know, I know there's faster ways to get pearls and oil and all that stuff. And that's not really the point. It's just, uh, you know, I see some free trilobites. Might as well take advantage of them while they're there. 
It's not going to hurt anything to take everything from them. Oh, look at that. There's a, a nice red beacon. We should probably go check that out, too. Ah, I was wondering what the yellow was. I saw something there. It was a Dymo. That's what it was. So, not worried about getting a Dymo right now. We do have a couple of Tyranodons flying around. One is level 40. One is level 20. They are male and female, so they are mate boosted. Or at least they were last time I looked. Unless it's someone else now. Yep, you're the level 40, so that means the other one is the level 20. Okay, we're just about back at the base now, or the, well, workshop, as I'm trying to force myself to call it. I don't know if that's going to happen, because I tend to say base a lot. Pause. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and park Mason. Just leave him right there. And then we'll go ahead and take that, because I can use that stuff. Oh, you know what? I need to cancel my follow, because I have everyone following Mason and not me. Look at that. All right, well, before we do anything else, really, let's uh, let's take advantage of those beacons while they're there. So let's grab that. I can dump you in there, because that's kind of where my extra stuff for that is going. Got a bunch of chitin off of those trilobites. That was one of the reasons I wanted to do that. So we'll go ahead and close the door, because, you know... Why not? Don't have a saddle for you yet, Raptor. We'll take care of that shortly. Where did... Okay, where did you... There you are. You're over there. Level 106. Not too shabby. Let's go ahead and put the saddle on you. Still have a little prime meat left on you. I had to get a couple more. Oh, let's see. What are you? 207 carrying weight. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and take that raw prime meat and... Uh, yeah, I just, I kind of feel like it'd be a good idea to go ahead and cook this down right now. So can I, I cannot separate you, can I? I I'm sure I've tried that before, only to fail miserably. So we'll leave the door open this time, because I don't care. And let's go ahead and hop on the Tranodon, and I just want to go collect that supply beacon. It's nice and dark, of course. It is evening. It's night. I'd say the sun is shining bright, but, well, it's shining bright on the other side of this world, if it even exists. It might be nothing more than a dome. Who knows? All right. Oh, look at that. We'll just go ahead and take all of that stuff before it vanishes. Good. There's a level 60 dodo right there. I'm not really concerned about checking that guy out. Let's go ahead and go back to the, the workshop because we have a couple just quick things to take care of before we call it an episode. One of them is to inspect that long neck rifle that I just picked up. That looked like a blueprint, I believe. All right, let's set uh, Tranodon down, and we'll go ahead and collect this. Thank you very much, Strike. I appreciate that. Your contribution does not go unnoticed. I, it doesn't matter what I put the points on in you, because you're kind of worthless. Sorry, it's harsh but true. Uh, you're going to be kind of worthless, too. Sorry, it's also harsh but true. Um, nah. Mason, look at that. I mean, Mason's kind of a tank here. 2,200 health. This guy's at 424. Nah. Pretty good damage, though. 211. So I guess some of his points went in there. He might end up being pretty decent. I don't know how many of his points went into food, but it looks like a considerable number of them did. Which, of course, does absolutely nothing for anyone. Let's take one last look at the Pteranodon here. So, a lot of health. That's pretty good. Wouldn't mind a little more weight. Um, I'm going to be okay with that, though, because that's not bad. Movement speed. Yeah, I was kind of working on movement speed with Esmeralda. That was just because I, I wanted to make her a, a really quick flyer just to get around places. But, uh, you know, it's all good. So we have a single elevator track for all the good that will do. That might be kind of fun to make an elevator to go down to the, the lake. I don't know, or one to go up from the lake. Did want to take a look at this guy. So it's a ramshackle, 125 damage. That's not great. I would actually like a higher level one because then we could use Trank Darts. Although, I suspect my improved Trank Arrows are probably better than Trank Dart, so I guess that doesn't matter too much. And I think that right there is where we call it an episode, so I have some homework for you. I'm just going to go ahead and say, give me a name for a raptor, give me a name for a Pteranodon. So we have a male Pteranodon, and we have a male raptor. There are a lot of males around right now, what's up with that? I don't know, whatever doesn't matter. Anyway, so give me your names for a male raptor. Give me your names for a male pteranodon. I will pick them at random either on tomorrow's episode or the following one. Depends on how my schedule plays out. And that's what we're calling the episode. So thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And I'll catch you on another one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.